weather outside was frightful. <laughs> What's up riders, old man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, um, you notice there's no snow right now and uh, that's because uh, the title of this video is Welcome Snow and then Fail. That's because you guys would not believe what I went through yesterday. <laughs> but if you want to find out, stay tuned. Yeah, yesterday, uh, yeah, was the very first sticking snow we had of the year here in the middle of November. And, uh, you know, I thought, what better way to go out and make a really cool, kind of like an introduction or how-to to riding in early snow uh, in bad weather for with the Royal Linfield Himalayan. And I'll tell you what, it was an unmitigated disaster for me. <laughs> You're glad you weren't me yesterday, that's all I got to say. But stuff happens. It's the old Murphy's Law. You know, if anything can possibly go wrong, it will. Well, yesterday it did. It was everything from nothing to do with the bike. The bike ran fantastic. In fact, man, I didn't even realize my front camera here was off until uh, I got halfway through the daggone video. And I'm going like, wait a minute. And then it wouldn't come back on. It's because we had such wet, rainy snow yesterday. It, uh, ice was everywhere and, and uh, the front camera just kind of got water in it and it shut down. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping I filmed today is okay because I dried it out last night, but you never know with electronics what's gonna happen. And then I had to deal with uh, fogging issues, uh, not only on my uh, windshield here, but also, uh, and my glasses that I'm wearing too. And you're talking about a spitty snow that was stingy when you opened your visor. And uh, yeah, it was it was a mess. It's kind of funny, but yet it's sad in the because you know it was going to be a great video. And uh, like I said, it was uh, definitely a, a a disaster in every way, shape, or form. But what I wanted to talk to you about was how to actually ride in this kind of stuff. Well, not this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff is awesome. It's just a little on the chilly side. I think we've got. Uh, 39 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It warmed up a lot. The snow actually melted overnight, which was uh, which was kind of uh, unusual. Usually it's the other way around, but it, we you knew it wasn't going to stick because it was so wet. I mean, it was just a wet, sloppy snow. In fact, I was going to take you back into the campsite and show you uh, the snow on the ground, how beautiful it is back there, which I didn't get a chance to do because I turned right around and head back into the house. I was soaking freaking wet, not because of uh, my uh, outfit here but because I had to raise my visor to try to get home and I had nothing but uh, snow and, and rain coming down inside of the visor to get me all wet but uh, oh, let's start looking let's put some of that footage in there right now you see what I mean it was, I had to pull over I don't know how many times to wipe myself off. Thank God I carry uh, towels with me and things like that so I can, I'm able to clear things up. But uh, it was just a mess, man. I'm telling you, it was definitely a fail. Not anything what I wanted to do. Because what I wanted to tell you was, you know, lower your air pressure in your tires. And I had that film too with my other camera here. But uh, basically what, uh, what happened was is the camera kind of crapped out. So what I did is I went down to 15% of the air pressure in both the front and the back. And that way, uh, before I even started, that way I had better traction in, uh, and gave the tire a little bit more squishiness when it's really cold uh, in this uh, slippery type condition. And of course, 
number one thing is to keep your motorcycle straight up and down. You know, you can lean a little bit when you're on gravel, um, as long as you're throwing your weight the opposite way, and I encourage you to watch that video up there about the, the top five tips on gravel roads. But in ice, man, you have to keep everything straight. Straight up and down is the only way to do it. And use engine braking over your brakes more than anything else. Now, if you get yourself in trouble, you're going to have to brake up. But again, uh, when you're starting to brake up like that, make sure you take her nice and easy and slow her down and don't slam. Now, I don't have ABS on this bike which most guys that buy the Himalayan now is going to turn their ABS off when they're in a situation like that, which I encourage you to do. But uh, in a situation like that, really, really, really be careful and, and, and ease your brake. Don't go fast, guys. There's no reason on ice, snow and ice to go fast. You're talking about 25 miles an hour, 4, 30 miles an hour maximum, unless you've got some dry areas. Uh, really, really pay attention to what's going on. But as far as other winter riding techniques and things like that, you really have to understand that it's it's it is dangerous but another thing you got to be aware of is if it gets really heavy snow you need to put uh, uh, chains on your tires and I have a set here and I uh, it wasn't deep enough for me to do that the roads were clear actually they were wet they were just wet and a little bit icy so I didn't really want to put the chains on so what I did instead is I just aired down a little bit 15% both front and back and then I gave myself uh, enough time to do what I wanted to do as far as uh, you know keeping the bike up straight and making sure that I'm not making any crazy turns but I'm basically right now hey I turned my turn signal off basically right now I'm showing you some places that I actually went to yesterday it was really pretty the snow was beautiful and man it just breaks my heart that uh, I couldn't have this front camera running because uh, in fact it was kind of funny I was getting ready to turn this camera around when I came to a stop sign on my way back and I actually turned the camera and you'll see it right here you know I think I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can get a better view of what's going on out ahead of us in this beautiful weather that way my head's not bobbing around so let's uh, let's check this out let's do this nope and yeah the battery died <laughs> oh my god it was to everything that could possibly go wrong and you know what I want to kind of share some of the bad stuff with you guys as well too and I hope you get a I hope you get a kick out of it not everything is rosy in old man Rona's world sometimes stuff happens and uh, the best way I can tell you is just have a good attitude about it don't go crazy and 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 really really try to enjoy your time no matter what you're doing whether you're on the motorcycle or you're just enjoying life but uh, this road here was gorgeous yesterday with the uh, well I'll put it to you this way of what I got to see because I was blinking pretty hard check this out I know right <laughs> man it was crazy it was insane how much crap I had and you know, like I mentioned before if you've seen in the pictures there or the video that that snow that was resting on top of my uh, visor wasn't getting underneath and causing fog this little uh, hand state uh, uh, anti-fogger worked great there was no issue with it the problem was that cold temperature on the outside was causing the outside of the uh, the screen or the windshield to, to uh, ice up and uh, fog up and that was just oh man <laughs> you know what I mean oh man and yeah, we'll turn down this road here for a minute they, uh, this used to be a gravel road now it's a chip and seal I'm kind of sad about it because it was one of my favorite places to come but uh, like I said in the and I'll tell you what to be honest with you in uh, snow and ice I like gravel roads better than asphalt because uh, that loose gravel actually breaks down I'm gonna let this guy go around me when he's gonna turn right there go <laughs> okay <laughs> well anyway but the loose gravel is actually see stuff goes happening but loose gravel actually performs a little bit better in the gravel and the uh, icy and snow because you've got that little bit of texture underneath there 
uh, gives you a little bit better grip on your tires and again airing down you know using the air moto system that I do airing down gives you a uh, it gives you a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, grip on crappy conditions but again we're not going 100 miles an hour in any of these places we're nice taking it nice and easy uh, easy peasy like I always like to say that's best way to ride in off weather off road and uh, you know kind of crappy conditions but I'll tell you what, I do love riding out here in the country like this because you never know what you're going to... Like, like right there, what's that? What's that? Did you guys see that? <laughs> I know, I'm going to do that every time, so get used to it. If you saw a little Ronin go by on his motorbike, make sure you are a subscriber first, but also make a comment below. And of course, guys, please, please, you've got to send me an email. And the email address is oldmanronin at gmail.com. Because that way, in case you do win, and I make I pull the winners every Sunday morning, uh, and then uh, you know right before my video, and then I announce it on the uh, on that day as well too. So I do it really late Sunday morning, and I announce the winner for that particular week. And uh, we've only got a couple more weeks of the Old Man Ronin Fall T-shirt giveaway. And uh, like I said, we've had a couple winners so far, and you know it's uh, it's been a lot of fun, and a lot of guys are really enjoying the contest. I'm getting a lot of responses on that, and uh, it makes me pretty happy. And it's open worldwide, so if you guys are a uh, viewer and a subscriber of the channel, and I encourage you to please have all your buddies and uh, folks in your family to subscribe to the channel because we uh, we need all the help we can get. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Of course, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. That way you know when all the new Old Man Ronin videos come out. Share and comment. I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys. Ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.